Welcome to the thrilling world of extreme sports, where nothing gets the heart racing more than base jumping. Imagine this, leaping off mountains, your only lifeline being a single parachute. It's a daring game that pits human courage against the relentless pull of gravity. But what happens when these high-stakes jumps don't go as planned? Today, we're stepping into the shoes of daring individuals who risked everything for the ultimate thrill, but tragically paid the ultimate price. David Reeder, a young and promising base jumper hailing from the United Kingdom, tragically met his end in the rugged French Alps in 2016. At the tender age of 23, Reeder was no stranger to the adrenaline-fueled world of base jumping. He had made a name for himself in the extreme sports community for his daring jumps and relentless pursuit of thrill. On the fateful day of his accident, Reeder and his friends were attempting a series of jumps in the mountainous regions of the French Alps. The thrill of soaring through the air quickly turned into a nightmare when Reeder's parachute failed to open, causing him to plummet towards the rocky terrain at breakneck speed. The resulting impact caused severe head trauma and other life-threatening injuries. Despite the immediate efforts of his fellow jumpers and the quick response of the local emergency services, Reeder's condition rapidly deteriorated. He was airlifted to a nearby hospital where the medical team fought tirelessly to save his life. However, the severity of his injuries proved too much, and Reeder slipped into a coma from which he sadly never woke up. Less than 24 hours after his accident, the young base jumper was pronounced dead. In the midst of this tragedy, Reeder's legacy lived on in a powerful way. He had signed up as an organ donor, and it was reported that his donations managed to save six lives posthumously. Even in death, Reeder demonstrated the same selflessness and courage that he displayed in life. Jeb Corliss, a name synonymous with skydiving and base jumping, has built an impressive reputation for his daring leaps from some of the world's most iconic landmarks. From the Seattle Space Needle to the Eiffel Tower, and even the colossal Christ the Redeemer statue in Rio de Janeiro, Corliss has continually pushed the envelope of extreme sports. However, even the most seasoned thrill-seekers can face unexpected hurdles. In January 2012, Corliss experienced this firsthand during what was supposed to be a routine base jump from Table Mountain in South Africa. This flat-topped mountain, overlooking the city of Cape Town, provides a dramatic backdrop for base jumpers and was seen as another incredible feat for Corliss to conquer. The jump started as planned, with Corliss launching himself off the edge of the mountain. His flight was going smoothly until he attempted a daring maneuver, skimming right over the edge of a cliff. This was a maneuver he had done countless times before, but this time, things went awry. Corliss misjudged the distance, and his legs clipped the rock, sending him spiraling towards the ground in a devastating crash. With his extensive experience and quick thinking, Corliss managed to deploy his parachute despite his injuries, significantly reducing the impact of his crash landing. But the damage was done. Both his ankles were broken, along with three toes and a fibula. His recovery was a grueling journey, filled with numerous surgeries and intensive physiotherapy. Yet, in true Corliss fashion, he reflected on this near-death experience with an important lesson about fear. As he later recounted in interviews, fear is a crucial part of survival. It's what keeps us alive, helps us respect the dangers we face, and guides us in making decisions that can mean the difference between life and death. Victor Kovance, an accomplished wingsuit flyer from Hungary, was a well-known name in the world of base jumping. With 700 flights and 125 skydives under his belt over a span of six years, he was an experienced and respected figure in the extreme sports community. Kovance's final jump was planned off a 328 feet high cliff in a remote area of northwestern China. It was a location that offered unique challenges and exhilarating opportunities for wingsuit flyers. Kovance was well prepared and excited for the jump, as were his fellow jumpers who were set to witness another thrilling flight by the Hungarian veteran. Armin Schmieder, an enthusiastic wingsuit jumper, had the unique idea to share his thrill-seeking adventures with the world by live-streaming one of his jumps in the picturesque Swiss Alps. What was supposed to be an exciting display of extreme sports took a tragic turn, becoming a sobering reminder of the inherent dangers of wingsuit flying. On that fateful day, Schmieder strapped on his wingsuit, his camera, and his parachute, ready to share his flight with his online followers. As he began his live stream, he waved to his viewers, promising an exciting adventure. Little did anyone know, this would be his last jump. As Schmieder leapt off the cliff, his followers watched in anticipation, their excitement soon turning to horror. 
After a short while into the flight, they heard a yell, followed by the distressing sound of impact. The screen then went black, leaving viewers in a state of shock and confusion. The details surrounding the exact cause of the accident remain uncertain. It's unknown whether it was a matter of misjudgment, a technical malfunction, or an unpredictable variable that caused Schmieder's fatal crash. Kieran Elliott's story stands out in the world of wingsuit flying, offering a unique perspective from a novice's standpoint. With only three successful jumps under his belt, Elliott felt ready and confident for his fourth wingsuit jump. His previous flights had gone smoothly, instilling in him a sense of security and overconfidence that would ultimately lead him to underestimate the risks involved. On this fateful day, with a camera mounted to document his flight, Elliot embarked on what he thought would be another uneventful jump. However, shortly after launch, things took a dramatic turn. Elliot fell into a flat spin, a terrifying state of uncontrolled rotation that can be challenging to correct. As he spiraled down for several thousand feet, the centrifugal force rendered him unable to see, adding to the already perilous situation. Despite the disorientation and the frightening speed of his descent, Elliot managed to regain his sight eventually. With sheer determination and a bit of luck, he was able to straighten out his position and pull his parachute. However, due to the extended flat spin, he opened his chute much lower than planned, around 3,000 feet below his intended altitude. Although shaken, Elliot managed to land safely, living to tell the tale and share his harrowing experience. Elliot's story serves as a stark reminder of the dangers of complacency in extreme sports, particularly for those new to the activity. Overconfidence can lead to underestimating risks, which in turn can lead to potentially fatal situations. It's a lesson for all base jumpers, regardless of their experience level, about the importance of constant vigilance, careful plan. Now, we have to ask, would you dare to take the plunge into the exhilarating world of wing diving? Imagine soaring through the sky, feeling the rush of the wind against your face as you navigate through breathtaking landscapes. It's a daring endeavor that pushes the boundaries of what is possible and unlocks a whole new level of adventure. So, are you ready to spread your wings and embrace the thrill of wing diving? As we continue to share these riveting tales of adventure and survival, we encourage you to join us in our exploration of the world of extreme sports. Subscribe to our channel, like our videos, and share these incredible stories with others. Your continued support allows us to delve deeper into these thrilling narratives, shedding light on the triumphs, tragedies, and lessons from this adrenaline-fueled world. Stay tuned for our upcoming videos as we uncover more thrilling tales and inspire you to embrace the extraordinary. Thank you for being a part of our journey, and we'll see you in the next adrenaline-fueled chapter. If you have any recommendations for upcoming videos, please let us know and we will give you a shout-out if we choose to make the video.